Hello, my name is Alex and I'm here to help. I'm going to walk through a physics problem related to the conservation of energy. And here's the problem. Okay. A runner, this guy here, wants to swing on a rope to get across a river. What minimum velocity is required to make it across the river? Okay. This guy wants to swing on a rope to get across. We need to figure out the minimum speed he's got to run to make it just to the edge. He's only got to go 1.8 meters across. If he goes too slow, he'll fall into the river. If he goes faster than the minimum speed, he'll still make it over the edge. But we need to figure out what his minimum speed is. Okay. From the setup, here's our data that we're given. The length of the rope is 4 meters. The distance he travels in the x direction, 1.8 meters. And we will call his initial height, why not, and it's equal to 0. That's our reference point. You always need a reference point when you deal with energy. Since all he's got to do is go that minimum distance, if he goes all the way to this point, and let's go. Right when he's still hanging onto the rope at this point right here, his total velocity is zero. So his y final will call zero meters per second. So using the conservation of energy, we know that all of his energy at the beginning is going to be equal to all of the energy at the end. We can exclude losses due to friction in this case. Later we'll get into friction losses, but for now we can ignore it. In reality, this is a pretty accurate, accurate way of doing things, but technically there should be air friction, but we're going to ignore it. All of his energy at the beginning and at the end is made up of kinetic energy and potential energy. At the end, kinetic final and potential final. His kinetic energy is made up is determined by his mass and velocity. We don't know his velocity, but we can see what we can do from there. His potential energy initially is going to be equal to zero because his y initial is equal to zero. His final kinetic energy is going to be zero because he goes up and stops and then lets go. So his final kinetic energy is going to be equal to zero. His potential energy we can calculate mass times gravity times height. Here's everything that cancels. Potential energy initially goes away because it's equal to zero, and kinetic energy final goes away because it's equal to zero. Substituting our formulas, we have 1 half m v naught squared equals mg y final. Normally it's written as mgh, but in this case we're going to say our h is that y final. We need to figure out what y final is. What is it? We have enough information to solve for that. We're given the length of the rope and a distance he travels in the x direction. If the rope swings out this far, the end of the rope where he's holding on is going to be at this delta x. This forms a right triangle. Using Pythagorean theorem, we can figure out what this vertical portion is from here to here. And then we can subtract th this vertical portion from the total length, which is just L. So the total length L equals this y final position plus this portion of the right triangle, the square root of L squared minus delta X squared. Rearranging for Y final, we get Y final equals 0 0.428 meters. Okay, now we have Y final. Now we can solve for why not. Notice how in these formulas, M cancels out of both sides. It's a good thing, too, because m is not given in the problem, but it's not required because it cancels out of both sides. Rearranging this equation here for v naught, 
which is what we're solving for, v0 equals the square root of 2g y final. Plugging everything into your calculator, 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared times y final, which is the 0.428 meters, we get that his final velocity is 2.897 meters per second. This is the minimum speed that he can go to where he just barely makes it to the edge. And he's slower, and he'd fall into the river. And he's faster, and he'd still make it over, but he didn't necessarily need to go that fast. This is his minimum required speed. If you have a physics problem or a math problem, please submit it to me, and I'll make a video out of it. Alex at alexpleasehelp.com